Lab TV travels to an Air Force research lab in Albuquerque, New Mexico, where engineers are helping satellites hitchhike into space using an amazing adapter called the ESPA ring. First off, you need a ride, and rides to space are hard to come by, and the ESPA ring was introduced to utilize excess launch capacity. It essentially, it goes unused. ESPA is an acronym that stands for the EELV Secondary Payload Adapter, where EELV basically refers to a class of launch vehicles. That's the Atlas V or the Delta IV, so the heavy lift capability that the Air Force has. These massive launch vehicles are taller than a 23-story building, and they can lift over 23,000 pounds. The launch vehicle is uh, typically what people refer to as a rocket, and that's what's used to put the satellite from ground up into orbit above the Earth. So there's two stages. The first stage gets you, you know, out of Earth's atmosphere, off the ground. And then when you burn that out, you eject the, the casing and whatnot. And then the second uh, stage fires and it takes you to your eventual orbit. A payload attach fitting connects the rocket to the payload. For the Air Force, that payload is usually a huge satellite. ESPA is an adapter that goes between the payload attach fitting um, on the launch vehicle and the primary satellite. Before ESPA existed, they would put ballast weight into the payload attached fitting, mainly to just get the right performance out of the rocket, to put the satellite, release it in the correct orbit. And then, that ballast was just discarded. ESPA gives the Air Force a much better use for that weight capacity. This is a one-tenth scale model of the ESPA ring and its interfacing hardware. Uh, this piece represents the payload attach fitting, or the very top of the rocket. This is where the satellite would sit if ESPA wasn't there. The ESPA ring sits right on top of the rocket interface, below where the primary satellite goes. Uh, this one has the six ports where it can hold up to six small satellites, and uh, they just attach on like this, equally spaced around the ring. And then the primary satellite goes on top of the ring. And you can tell by looking at this that they're, uh, you can see why it's called the primary. It's quite a bit bigger than the secondaries. Uh, this is designed uh, for these smaller satellites to be up to 400 pounds, whereas this bigger one could be up to 15,000. You have the rocket and you have a primary payload, and in our case we're the secondary payload, so we're underneath the primary payload, we're kind of riding a second class citizens, hitchhiking if you will. The most important thing is that it doesn't damage the satellites that it's attached to. Especially the secondaries kind of hang off to the side, and as you can imagine when you launch a rocket up into orbit, Everything starts to shake around quite a bit. Going on the Esper ring is kind of like riding in the back of a pickup truck. So we were taking some measures to make our ride better, but we have some pretty severe test standards we have to design to in terms of vibration and shock. A static test, the first thing you do is just push on it with the amount of force that it's going to see during the launch. And that's how you make sure it's strong enough to hold the satellites. Following that, you do a dynamic test uh, where you shake it and make sure that it doesn't have any frequencies that will damage the satellites. Rides to space can cost over $100 million, so hitchhiking a ride using the ESPA ring makes a lot of sense. Missions that previously couldn't afford to have their own rocket to be launched can now be added to an existing larger mission and be put into orbit. It's pretty amazing to imagine that it's in space, you can't touch it, you can't fix it, you know, your chance is here on the ground. I started out in mechanical engineering and I had a very inspirational professor. He actually came from Kirlin Air Force Base. He motivated me to be a space engineer. Check out part two of Space Hitchhikers to see how the Air Force will use the ESPA ring to perform some really cool experiments in space.